Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay, and in this video I'm going to show you how I painted Super Boo. To paint the Boo head, I'm going to mix up some Angelus paint for the airbrush. If you saw the video on how I made the gauntlets and the ankles, it's going to be pretty similar to that. So I'm going to mix some of this hot pink with the Angelus Too Thin, and it recommends one part too thin to four parts pink. I just kind of eyeball it. So I think that consistency is usually pretty good. I'm going to use a paint strainer to strain it into another cup just in case it has any clumps or anything so we don't clog up the airbrush. And I'll set my cup aside that I mixed it in in case I need to mix some more. Now I'm going to load up my airbrush with some paint and we'll do a test spray on a paper towel to see if it's spraying alright. That looks pretty good. I haven't adjusted the settings since I painted the gauntlets and stuff so it is still at um, roughly 30 psi. I'm just gonna try to coat this in paint. I figure any of the spots with like the sharpie underneath will take a couple coats to cover but I don't want to go too heavy at first and get drips. Here's the head after one coat of paint. Now I'm going to go back and do a second coat just to hit any of the spots that didn't get completely covered. Like these seams in the back here, you can kind of still see where the seam is. I'm also going to go ahead and put a coat on the hands while I'm at it. I know the body's already pink, but I feel like I need to paint it for consistency. I guess we'll just go with the hot pink as well. I do want to try a thing I've seen action figure customizers do for shading where they paint dark underneath everything and then light above everything with an airbrush. So maybe first I'll just I'll just spray this way and see if we can get some shading going on. If not then we'll just paint it pink. Flip him over and do the same thing for the back as well and then we'll assess if it looks decent or not. <laughs> I think as a base coat that looks alright. Now I'm going to go with the next color of pink I have, which is this petal pink, also from Angelus. And I'll mix it the same way and then spray it from the top down to try to start to put some highlights in. So now I'm going to try to spray mostly either straight down this way or at an angle this way. I'm not going to try to get any of these shadows I put in with the hot pink. There'll probably be some overlap, but I don't want to just erase all that. So like when I get to up here, I'm just going to let it skim across the top, basically. I actually don't know if I'm loving this pink. It's looking a little fleshy, to be honest. So I laid out all the colors of pink that I have because I think currently this is looking a little too dark and... Currently we're at this base of hot pink, and the lightest pink I have, which I think is closest to what Boo probably looks like, is this full cart baby pink. So I was going to just paint that on there, but it was a little too light compared to the hot pink, so I think we need to kind of go through the gradient of pinks to get there. So you can see I kind of did that here on this piece of paper. I do think the hot pink in general needs to be toned down a smidge, so I'm going to go over the whole thing basically and kind of lightly hit it with this petal pink again and try to lighten it up a bit, and then we'll do the highlights again with the Angelus just straight pink, which I still think is a little too orange maybe for what I'm wanting and then go with the baby pink and hopefully even it all out and give it that boo look and then it'll have the shadows and highlights underneath from everything else. So for this layer I'm not going like super heavy up close. I'm trying to like dust the whole thing. So I'm pretty far back. So here's what it's looking like after it's been evened out a bit. You can still see there's some shading from the first coat so I think that's pretty good. It's not quite as neon looking. Here's the back currently for a more direct comparison. You can see the hot pink is much more vibrant. We're trying to tone that down a bit. You should probably paint the head as well for consistency. First I'll spray downward onto it. I 
I think that's looking pretty good. I know I've got the desired effect when it kind of looks like a gradient from the front. Then looking straight down, it's the lightest color. And straight up from below, it's the darkest color. Then I'm going to just do a pass over the whole thing to even it out like I did before on the body. Because right now it's like there's still spots that are very hot pink. You know, like right through here. Also trying not to get complete coverage with this coat. So I'm spraying from like foot back. Because I still want the shadows to be there. I just don't want them to be as extreme. Here's where we're at currently with the suit. Gonna continue adding in the highlights now with some of Angelus' pink paint. Still just trying to skim along the top. So I've got my highlights in, now I'm going to go back and do a dusting over everything. So now I'll do another coat on the head. Okay, there's the head. He's looking pretty good. I think you can kind of see that, the highlights up here and then the, the shadows. It's actually relatively close to the color I was wanting to get to, this one over here. Just with the layering of paints. Here's the color I was considering trying to end on. I brought blue outside so I can see it in some different lighting. I think it's looking okay. I'm trying to decide if I need to put more pink on it or if I got the desired effect for this. Here we've got the head. Might be a bit of a better angle. I think he's looking pretty cool though. Compared to what I was shooting for, here's all those colors combined that I kind of blended. That's what we got to. So, what do you think? For a final coat, I think I'm going to mix white with the hot pink. I did some tests just mixing it with a brush and brush it on this paper. And I kind of like this color I got, where I mix like three parts white to one part hot pink. I'm going to start out with less pink because I can always try to sneak up on it. But if I add too much pink, then we'll have to add a whole bunch of white to get back to where I want to be. I think this color is pretty close. Now we'll add the thinner and then strain it like the other ones. Hopefully the extra highlight gives it just a touch more depth and continues to make him look like a bubblegum man. Now we just have to do the head, which is always inconvenient after doing the body because I line everything up here to mix paints. And then I gotta move it. I think that's looking pretty good. I think the extra highlight adds like a pop of color to it, but it doesn't look too contrasty with the layers. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think this is where we'll stop with the pink. And now I'll proceed with painting the teeth white and the tongue teal color. And I think I'm gonna try to airbrush all the black spots on the head and the body. Now that the head is painted pink, I'm gonna go in and paint the teeth. For this I'm just gonna use a little brush because I don't think I'm skilled enough with the airbrush to not get it all over everything I just painted. Got one coat of white on the teeth, but I figured I should paint the tongue before I finish those because my wife pointed out I might get some of this blue paint on the teeth and then have to redo those. So I'm going to be using this Angelus Turquoise. And hopefully this covers the pink well. If not, I'd have to paint it white first and then paint it blue. It looks like it's going to be covering all right though. All right, time to attempt to paint on these black spots. I'm gonna start on the back because it'll be less noticeable if I mess it up. I'm gonna practice a little bit on a paper towel first. I've also been doing quick tests on a cup because the surface is a little bit more slick and it doesn't absorb things like a paper towel. So any of the, the rubber spots on this that might have a chance for the paint to pull up a little bit, this will give me an idea if my paint's too thin. So I can just brush the airbrush this on here. And then that way I know if I go like super heavy like that, you know, it's going to make a little splatter. We're going to start with this one. Uh, and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Pretty nervous because I feel like I'm, I'm going to mess it up. Okay. Also try to be very mindful of the clogs. I don't want 
any wooden shoes on Boo. No, I don't want to accidentally splatter paint on Boo. For this one, I'm at like 10 PSI. And my paint is a little bit thinner than it was before. Okay, I think the spots are looking pretty good. I've got them all painted. I started to paint one of the holes on the head, and I don't love it. I just think since this isn't like a shallow scoop, this is a hole punched out. The way that the paint's looking is a bit different. It doesn't really look like it's fading out like it does on the body. It just looks like there's a hole and then some airbrush bits around that. And I just, I don't love the look of it. I think it's a lot more apparent in person than maybe it is on camera to me. So I'm going to go back in and touch this up with the pink paint. And I think we'll just go with the, the painted holes themselves. And maybe that'll be good enough. I just painted the inside of the holes. And I just did that with a Q-tip. I didn't film it. Just dipped a Q-tip in some paint and then just swirled it around like bloop. Because it was quick and easy. Alright, now I'm just going to go through the layers of paint. I used to paint this previously and blend it all in. It sounds pretty sketchy, but I know it's possible. Because I messed up the face at one point. I had to do the same thing there. So currently I'm applying coats of the hot pink and then drying it with a hair dryer. Black is just about covered up. You can see we got a big old pink splotch now, but that'll be okay. I probably could have just painted it with the brush to cover the black, but then I'd have like the hard edges of the, the paintbrush or I'd have to try to fade it out on the edges here. We got the nice soft edges of the pink, so those will be easier to blend back in. Okay, there it is. I think I blended it back in okay. I did a little more than I filmed just because I thought you could kind of tell that I painted over the, the shadows and things that were already there. So I went back in with the darker color and I sprayed upwards. Tried to put some of the shadows back in on the bottom and then came back down with the lighter colors and hopefully blended it a little. I don't know. It's probably fine. It's on the back of the head so you're not going to see it anyway. I can kind of tell where it was messed up but that's because I did it. The face though, I'm, I'm relatively confident you wouldn't be able to tell that I repainted this whole eyebrow and the upper lip. I think I did a pretty okay job on that. Also, I finished painting the tongue and the teeth. There it is all painted. I got the nails painted on the hands as well. And overall, I think it looks pretty okay. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing. Leave a comment down below. I'll have links to everything in the description. Follow me on social media if you'd like to see more of my work. And I'll see you next time.